Hi, welcome to the Smart Girls Coding course. My name is Austin, and in this lesson, we will be getting set up with Smart Girls. All you need is a device such as a phone or tablet, and to download an app called Sugar Coded. Depending on whether you are using an Android or iOS device, you can go to the Google Play Store or App Store and search up Sugar Coded, which is spelled S U G A R C O D E D. And on both platforms, it should be the first app that pops up. Once you go ahead and download it, you should open it, which will lead you to the screen that you can see here on my device. The app at first may ask you if you want to enable Bluetooth, but in this case, it doesn't really matter if you enable it or not because we don't have a Siggy. And you may be wondering, what is a Siggy? A Siggy is a product that the company Smart Girls has made, which is essentially a doll that rides a Segway. Um, and Smart Girls is also the company that created this app. So we can use this app called Sugar Coded to code the Siggy to be able to move, dance, and play music. However, we do not have the Siggy on our hand right now. But if this sounds interesting to you, you can purchase the Siggy on SmartGirls.com. SmartGirls, which is spelled S-M-A-R-T-G-U-R-L-Z. However, you don't need the Siggy for this course, as instead, we will be coding a virtual Siggy to complete obstacle courses. The style of coding we will be using in this course is called block coding. If we click on the bottom middle icon after clicking choose activity in the top right, so the bottom middle icon, which looks like a green F with a bunch of purple and pink blocks attached to it. We can get a preview of what block coding looks like. So we're going to go ahead and click the bottom middle icon. Um, and so this icon is actually meant to code the Siggy to be able to move, but we will briefly introduce it to give you a feel of what block coding really is. So there's going to be a, um, a prompt that pops up um, and we can just press OK. Um, so essentially, we have a lot of different blocks, as you can see here in the workplace. So you have a speed block, a move block, a turn block, and a bunch of other really cool blocks. Um, and so we don't need to know what this does quite yet. We'll be teaching that in the next video. But um, essentially, we can um, connect these blocks to create a working program that will move the virtual Siggy through our obstacle course. For example, let me drag the speed block and the move forward block, and I'm gonna connect them. So they're connected now. And so once again, you don't need to know what this means, but essentially if we press show code in the top right, um, we can see uh, the real code that we have created, which many professional programmers can do to create many uh, complex tasks. So essentially after we've um, connected a bunch of these blocks, we can make a string of extremely complex code that um, will be able to move the Siggy through our um, through our obstacle courses. And so that is all for the introduction to Smart Girls video. And I hope after watching this, you're really excited to start block coding. Thanks for watching.